Alright everyone, in this video I'll be doing an unboxing of an item which I've needed for a ridiculously long time now. I have bought a new camcorder, a Sony CX320E. I bought this from Amazon for £180. Now I got it for, it's supposed to be used, but I think it might be a returned item, I'm not really too sure. It says used good condition. Mm. But anyway, the original price should be around 300 to 320 pounds, so it sounded like a really good deal. And all that's missing is the box and the accessories. So, wow, a big deal. It comes with like a USB extension cable. Pfft, I've got a stack of them upstairs. An instruction manual, you can get off the internet. I think it comes with a replacement power supply, and that's about it. I'm not sure I'm missing anything too critical, really. So we'll take more of a look at it. Well, incidentally, I've been using the Sony Bloggy, which is absolutely rubbish for interior recording. So we're going to see how this performs. So it's just been sent in the plain box, so let's get it open. And we've got loads of the packing paper. And we've got loads of bubble wrap around it now, so isn't that enjoyable to open? Enjoyable to pop, more like, isn't it? Not enjoyable to try and open up, though. Yeah, your bubble's exploding already. Come on. Bloody sellotape. Too easy to put on. Takes ages to take off. Literally is it. And that looks like it's being rebagged as well. We've got the battery charger. ABC Products battery charger. Mm -hmm. ABC Products, yes. <laughs> Top Chinese quality, no doubt. And that's the camcorder. So that's the battery, it's fitted already. Hello, I thought that was supposed to have a lens cover over it. But the lens is automatic, isn't it? Go to sony.net slash pm for your PC software. Okay, I will do. memories.home and I bet that doesn't even come out there on this old camera. Well, there we go. Oh. Battery's pretty much discharged. It's looking a bit further at this camera. I've taken the battery out to charge it for a moment but what we have in terms of connectors we've got HDMI, microphone input, the on off button, the symbol there saying it's Dolby stereo microphone. It's fine for me all I wanted was a stereo recording. Mono speaker Cut the buttons there. That's where the battery goes. Underneath we have where an SD card goes in, I believe. SD card? I'll have to test it out because I've only got one and it's in the camera I'm currently recording with. Here's a USB cable for connecting to the computer. Forms part of the strap, so that's quite neat. Believe it or not, this camera is actually lighter than the Sony Bloggy, which I'm currently using. Fits in my hand quite nicely there, so I could do recording like that, but I'm not going to because I use a camera stand. And on that side, I've got input for DC and the multi connector. So it does look quite a nice camera, and I can't wait to try it out. Start stop buttons there at the back, you've got the zoom there, and the photo button. Well, there was a rather foul acidic stench in my kitchen after I tried charging battery, and that's what happened there. The camera is now dead. The battery is now dead. There's not even a proper Sony battery, I've noticed now, doing a bit more research. Because it says lithium ion battery pack. Yeah, seems legit. And the main culprit here, I think, was this charger, which was also in a case of seems legit as well. <laughs> ABC products have uh, just killed the battery. Sorry about that, that's a failed review. I'm going to use Amazon's very good return policy and return both these items. And I'm going to go somewhere and buy a brand new camera. Thanks for watching, see you later.